Hello everyone, today I'm doing another gentle speedrun video and uh, I'm doing a OpenRC UEFI install this time and I'm starting with using a SAP disk to create a GPT label and the two partitions basically. After that I'm gonna create file systems, VFAT for FA partition and XFS for like a root partition and I'm also gonna set a label and uh, we will use it uh, later. And after that I'm basically creating a new directory and mounting the FVD to uh, this directory and the uh, next step will be to download a stage 3 file. And uh, while it downloads I will basically specify my gentometer because uh, the default ones aren't as fast and sometimes they straight up like not accessible for me so I basically need to specify a mirror manually okay so we go to our stage 3 file then we need to extract it and I'm doing like a bit of typos there so I could do this a little bit faster but we'll see and uh, I'm copying the result of conf and doing an arch shirt. And in the second Tmax window, I'm doing my command with mirrors and doing shirt there. And uh, started to sync my gen to repos and also my GPG keys so I can install binary packages later. And on the first Tmax window, I am specifying Dracut flag for install kernel. So it will use Dracut to create a NutriMFS file. And you basically have to do that because uh, it wouldn't really create it, this file. And uh, Gento kernel bin uses modules. And uh, you basically you need a NutriMFS file there. So, after I have finished uh, syncing my keys, I'm running a merge gentle bin kernel command and uh, in the second uh, window I'm mounting the FVD1 to boot and starting to emerge FVBoot Manager and FastFetch. Uh, I decided to use FVBoot Manager instead of SystemD boot because it's just faster and for the same reason I decided not to use swap this time and uh, also I started to use OpenRC instead of systemd but uh, the two biggest changes I made here I would say is dropping out the install of network manager because uh, you need that to connect to Wi-Fi but you don't really need that to get like a uh, network connection especially on OpenRC it will create a wired connection for you automatically and uh, after I like set my root password, I'm doing a fboot manager command to create a UFI entry. Basically, specify like the device, the first partition, and uh, like the loader image and the any TramFS image. And I was talking about other improvements I made, and the second one was uh, not using Linux firmware because uh, you don't really need Linux firmware on a virtual machine. Uh, there, all the drivers are in inside the kernel anyways, they are open source, you don't really need firmware. So that's basically it. We already set our root password, we created a UFI entry, and we only wait for Gentle kernel to finish emerging. And uh, after that, I'm basically gonna show a fast fetch, and that will be it. Also, I think uh, I could improve this a bit. Basically, I did a couple of typos, but I don't really know how you can like make it faster from the theoretical point of view. Okay, so it's done installing the kernel and I'm going to reboot and it actually booted 
So there it is. So thank you for watching and I guess I'll see you next time.